Hey, today we're going to talk about some opportunities to use your sewing skills for good. Stay tuned. This is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel and thank you for spending time with me today. Today I'm going to talk about how you can take your sewing and help other people. I've always heard of a lot of people that do this and I've always wanted to volunteer for one of these organizations. And so I did a little search to figure out which ones I might want to be involved with and so I thought I would share that with you. So I have 10 different ways you can use your sewing for good. And there are many others and I please ask you to go ahead and link them in the comments below. Um, we can also start a thread on the Facebook group to keep a running list of these because I think many of us would like to help our fellow man. So no particular order. I'm going to start with number one is Ryan's Case for Smiles. Now this organization basically supplies pillowcases, fun pillowcases, to hospitalized kids to help them through cancer treatment and other things. Um, it seems to be a really well-run organization and there doesn't seem to be a lot of rules. Um, I would encourage you to go to the website. I'm going to pull it up here so you can kind of see. And they also have the patterns right on the website that you can use. Um, they do have a few requirements. They don't want you to use any glitter on the fabric and different things. But now with any of these, you can use fun fabrics. I'm just going to show you a couple things that I think are really fun from my local Walmart. Here is a Marvel Comics. This was a one yard cut, perfect for a pillowcase. Here's a one yard cut of Mickey Mouse silhouette. What kid wouldn't love that? I would love that. I actually bought that for me. <laughs> Here's a Disney princess. What little girl wouldn't love to have that on her pillow? This one is kittens. These were all under $4 a yard, so uh, you can do this and really be frugal as well. Here's a unicorn print that I got, all at Walmart. And this one was a one yard cut of a floral that I think any girl would love too. I don't know if they go as high as teens, but a teen girl would love that. But you can use any of these projects require a small amount of fabric. So I just would, these were all from the clearance aisle at Walmart. So definitely check that out if you're looking for. The next one is Project Linus. Now Project Linus supplies blankets to children in need. Uh, security blankets, hence the name Linus. So uh, there are very many patterns on the website that you can use for the blankets and there's also knitting and crochet patterns available as well. And the website lists the um, organizations and addresses and things of where you send things and who to contact. Some of these places have local chapters as well. So um, definitely check the website for those kind of things. Number three is something you have to really feel led to do this. I personally think it's a beautiful thing to do. It's called Charlotte's Purpose and Charlotte provides baby layettes for stillborn babies so that they can have a beautiful burial ground and one of the materials they use for this are wedding gowns. They use upcycled wedding gowns to make these beautiful white garments to bury stillborn babies in. It gives a validation of their life, it gives closure to the parents, and it's just a super, super loving thing to do. There's a website with all the details. When I was in photography, there, there's an organization which photographers um, can volunteer for. I never was able to because I was, had weddings and you had to be on call for this and I couldn't miss a wedding, so um, it just wasn't, I wasn't able to do it. But, but the organiz not this organization, but another organization provides photographers to do a photo shoot 
um, of the parents with the baby and something to remember the child by. Um, like I said, you have to have a 100% heart to do this, but it's such a beautiful thing to do. This is Operation First Response. They provide backpacks to wounded soldiers um, in combat. So they get a little backpack from home and in it they put blankets um, that people have made into the backpack. Quilts, that kind of thing, Afghans. So they have patterns on their website as well and they seem to be a really beautiful organization. Number five is dress a girl around the world and I love this one. Basically they provide dresses for girls in need whether wherever they are in whatever continent that they need and you can use the patterns on their website. What little girl doesn't love a dress and I think I think it was on that website that they said every little girl deserves to have a dress. And these patterns look so simple that you could sew them up in an afternoon. So I would just encourage you to reach out and do that if, if you're so led to do that. Next is Little Dresses for Africa and they provide these little pillowcase dresses. The pattern is on the website and they take them to the villages and it's in combination with um, other things that they do for the village like water and um, you know schooling and all those things that they go and do for Africa but these are dresses that they can hand out to the little girls and every girl should have a dress sometime in their life. Next is a, another beautiful thing to do that most people wouldn't think about but it's called the So Powerful Purse Project and what the So Powerful Purse Project does is it keeps girls in school all month long. In other countries, um, third world countries, girls are not permitted to come to school because they don't have adequate hygiene for when they're in their monthly cycle. So this organization creates purses that have all the supplies they need to take to school. So there are patterns for the purses and I believe there's also patterns for the washable pads on the website and it's a wonderful thing to do. Um, I had done some for a missionary once um, that they just personally asked me to do and that is those girls need an education and if you want to do, if you're a feminist and you want to do something to empower girls, this right here keeps them in school and gives them a chance to compete in the world. So that's a wonderful organization. Next is Operation Smile. Now you might be familiar with Operation Smile as it's a medical mission that they go and they do surgeries for kids with cleft palate and those things. And how sewing comes in there is that they, um, they take donations of hospital gowns and um, pillowcases and other things. I think there's a, also a pattern for a specific kind of sling. So all these things there's patterns for on their website and you can donate them because uh, hospital gowns are in short supply. And also kids love having you know something better than just the dull hospital gown. So um, that's one way to uh, donate your time as well. And one more, um, and I think this is probably where my heart is leading to do, is we fill up the shoe boxes every year for Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child, and the boxes you put in um, little things, whatever you can put in a shoe box, sometimes a little doll, sometimes, you know, Hot Wheels cars, um, little, some kind of a little toy, some kind of a little hygiene thing. And I personally think that I would love to make dresses to put in the little girls boxes and pillowcases to put in either boys or girls boxes. And I think that, you know, how many kids have their own pillowcase in third world countries. So I think that would be a really fun way to use your sewing skills as well. So if you've got remnants or if you just feel like going at the clearance rack at Joann's and Walmart, you can find some really cute prints and do some really fantastic things for other people. All right. 
So if you like what you see on our channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We also have a Facebook group. I'd encourage you to join where everybody shares their makes and generally just cares about each other. There's no negativity in that group and we would love for you to be part of it. As you probably can tell, I'm not in my usual place. I am in San Antonio at my brother's home. So I thought I would record a few videos for you guys so that you um, have some new content while I'm away. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Happy sewing.